Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon BC DD 20T run attempt number 6,000 million billion and a half. I swear to you, one day we will succeed in this game mode. We will achieve victory. Victory achieved. Uh, prey slaughtered. Uh, 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 <laughs> you defeated? That's what it was. You defeated. <laughs> trying to remember what the Dark Souls victory achieved text that pops up on the screen was. Because it's different for every game. Uh, Bloodborne, it was prey slaughtered because in Bloodborne you're fighting beasts. It's you defeated is the tagline in Gungeon for the gun soul item, and I forget what it is in the other specific games. Air of Fire destroyed in Dark Souls 3 or something like that, and Dark Souls 2 is probably something like humanity defeated, or I don't know what. But, anyways. Hopefully we achieve victory here today. I'm hoping so, because it's, uh, it's been a little while since I even managed to get my way over to the Lich fight, and it's just getting, you know, we're getting worse and worse as time goes on. We need to start achieving success. And hello, Mahoney and Wolf Hyper. How you guys doing today? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate the good luck. And Wolf Hyper, long time no see, it feels like. Okay, gun changed. Now's when the fun begins. Okay, you know what? Yeah, now's when the fun begins. We start getting teleporting ghosts. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you know what? I'll be perfectly honest with you. I thought that ghost was destroyed. I thought that ghost was dead. He was not. Oh, shit. No ghosts, no ghosts, please! Oh my god, I didn't even see him, he was right in front of my face! I I don't give Dark Was the Night enough credit, because it's so annoying not being able to see what's around you, especially with the teleporting ghosts. Like, with normal enemies, you know, you can usually trace them, you can track them, you know where they're gonna walk to, you know what their AI is like. These pieces of crap. Freaking teleporting ghosts can be a bit more of a problem. Okay, but you know what? We're alive, and we are going to stay alive, I swear. Hey, four months sub on uh, Ron Busabout. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Four months is a long time. Keep it up. I'll try to keep it up, but you're just I'm just hoping we'll be able to actually win on this run. If not this run, one run at some point. I always end up getting freaking thermal clips with like the flare gun, or at least at this time it was the grenade launcher and it's not the bow or the charmed bow, which would have been really awkward. Now we have bubble blaster, which I've, I've been getting, I'm beginning to like this more and more. Bubble blaster I think is actually a pretty decent gun. Even if you're on a, a BCDD 20T run or something, because you actually can do some some pretty good damage with it. Pretty substantial damage. The bunny adds an audience challenge. Who can guess the gun he has first? Uh, I didn't realize that the bunny was still active. <laughs> Thank you, Wolf Hyper, for the gift sub to Unread Duck. Um, God damn it. Here's what I don't get. Oh wait, no, I get it now. I had the wrong game capture up. That's right, that's the Super Hexagon game capture. Oh God, turn that off. <laughs> Whoops. Ignore, ignore the fact that there's a bunny on the corner of the screen for like the past six minutes. <laughs> oh God damn it. <laughs> Ugh. It's a great way to start the stream, you know? Just freaking have weird overlay elements up unexpectedly. Oh my god. We're gonna die on the first floor in this one. Let's not die on the first floor, no. I refuse 
to go like this. What I'd like to do is actually just like fight the boss and, uh, and hopefully get the flawless. Although it's gonna be a little tough on a uh, Goals Revenge Hammer Time room, but I think we can do it. Still hoping that one day they'll add in like some custom timing for this combination. Good stuff, good stuff, we're alive. Let's stay alive. Real real talk, you thought that that was a uh, like challenge modifier thing? Like, oh, you can't see your gun. That would be an interesting additional challenge for blessed mode. You gotta just look at your character. You gotta figure out what, what it is from the look of it. Something about that idea strikes me as kind of interesting. But no, I just was an idiot. <laughs> weird budget uh, budget hyperlight blaster is what it kind of feels like there wow you one shot those guys with this gun I did not expect that one shotting a bulletkin with shades revolver I mean I know it's a strong gun but I don't use it for room clearing that's my boss killer gun gun key blanks uh, we'll buy the key with four keys. I'm thinking we should just open the chests because we'll be able to get a gun drop, a passive active, um, maybe also just buy some keys and go to the um, secret room before we even fight the boss. We'll probably have the guns for it. You know what? Let's open it. Okay, sure, gun. Gun has been handled for the floor. That means this is gonna be a passive active. Let's just open it immediately. Well, Piper, thanks for stopping by and see you later. Okay. Okay, I like this so far. I don't really like uh, easy reload bullets. That is actually a trash item, but <laughs> everything else is good. <laughs> um, so you know what, let's just buy one blank with three. We'll try to flawless the boss. If we do it, good. If not, whatever. Adrenaline rush, unfriendly fire. In fact, this should be a boss that is easy to kill without using any blanks, ideally. Big problem, though, is that we have to use Molotovs to do damage right now, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, the modifiers don't matter. Adrenaline Rush might matter a little bit, but as long as we don't spend a ton of time dodging, we'll be fine. We have to be a little bit careful about the angle of our shots with uh, Unfriendly Fire, and be very careful not to shoot into tables. Shooting into tables is one of the worst things you can do, because your shots will bounce off of the tables. Excellent. Good stuff. Well, hello and goodbye, Jornkurt. That was a... <laughs> that was a quick one. Um... Can we, can we kill this thing? I mean, we should. We should grab the hot rock, even if it's bad. We can sell it in the future. And then we'll uh, spend some time looking for a secret room, consider buying extra blanks for the next floor, and then move on. Wait, Tangler Shots bounce? Hold up. Tangler Shots bounce? Since, did I, did I always know that? <laughs> or is that one of those things where I just didn't realize it, it but I knew it kind of innately in the back of my mind. I never thought about it. I don't know. But either way, I'm, I'm happy to have it. For now, anyways. Um, so let's try to find that secret room that we know is gonna be around here somewhere. Well, we hope it is gonna be around here somewhere anyways. We still have to do the fireplace. Don't forget about that.
then we'll head on out. It's a, it, it's a weirdly good first floor because even though we went down to basically no health, we survived, which is a good sign. Well, not going down to no health, but surviving. Um, we have items that are not bad. The items that we have do not negatively affect us at all. You know, we're not accidentally going to light ourselves on fire, shoot ourselves with hip holster, uh, accidentally scatter shot and spawn blobs and additional bullets that we have to dodge. Like, it's it's pretty good from the perspective that the, that the items are not bad, but in that same vein, the items are not good yet. Um, Melted Rock is actually bad, but we, it's an active item. We don't have to use it. Uh, it's bad because it hurts you when you use it sometimes, so you got to be very careful with it. Um, easy Reload Bullets is not very good at all, but it is, again, just not bad. We can sell these later if we want to. We can hold them forever. So I don't know. Are there any rooms I didn't check? Yes, there's a couple. I want to find this damn secret room because I feel like I would like to get another benefit from this floor other than basically nothing. And after all of that effort, we got basically nothing. <laughs> Lovely. Let's buy the blanks and then move on. I don't care about, you know, being a little bit low on HP. That's fine. We do need money. We need to save money for keys so we can open chests and for the Nod key. But we have the lock pick. We can unlock chests if we if we really really have no other option. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay. Let's just hope that we can you know continue the run without having LJ spawn for as long as freaking possible. So this is an interesting room. Um, there's a lot of potential value here if we end up wanting to. Um, spawn blobs and kill the blobs to get some extra cash, but it's also a very annoying room because it is a bunch of veterans on the other side of that poison pursuit pit. And so, you know, the longer we would take, the more likely it is that we're just gonna take damage. Okay, I didn't expect the barrel to freaking, oh God, go through the enemy. <laughs> I expected him to like get stuck on it or the barrel to break. But you know what? This works too. Also, no ghosts. Fantastic. No ghosts. Um let's lockpick it. Might as well. I'm not really striving to do the uh Yep, yep, yep. yep. These guys explode all over the place. Uh, I really was not hoping to do the uh <sighs> freaking Abbey floor. Sometimes these veterans, man, it seems like they their shots lag behind and then other times they're like perfectly accurate on you. Because oftentimes I try to make them shoot ahead of me when I'm trying to dodge around them or shoot behind me when I'm trying to move forwards. But sometimes it feels like they're too smart for you on a particular room and I don't know why. They're freaking jerks like that. Oh. Dude, thank God for the knockback on this. Elephant gun saved my life in that room. Good lord. I'm just waiting on bad RNG for guns to get that last curse. I mean, basically, that's how it works. You know, I will say, there's the king. There is one good, real good reason to have the uh, melted rock. And that is if we get Ring of Triggers or Blank Companion's Ring, we have a easy way of making it active. We have a really good way of enabling it just by uh, using that item that automatically recharges after you use it once. So I'm really looking forward to maybe possibly getting one of those items. And if we don't, you know what? Fine, it's not, it's not in our cards today. You know, I'll be honest. While we have the big shotgun, I really want to just like take a quick look around. Yeah, look for the secret room because we've got a big shotgun. And in fact, 
Okay, you know... A couple of things. First of all, I... I don't know if that counts as the secret room for the floor. That might be a second secret room, so I'm gonna keep looking for an additional secret room. Secondly, that is a good use of our blanks at the end of the, of the floor. If we have any extras, you know, after we fight the boss, after we find the other secret room maybe, we should definitely just check out that. I would love to be able to, um... Got it. I would love to be able to just, like, get some extra uh, items, potentially, for free. That'd be lovely. Now, I'm loving this gun. Never... I was gonna say, never change me away from that gun, and then what did it do? It changed me away from that gun. So, we do have LJ. It's, it's early enough in the game that... He's usually not that much of a pain in the ass to deal with, but, you know, it all depends. Okay, I really like that. <laughs> How come I never thought of that before? Just freaking push him into a pit with the reload. That's awesome, dude. Now, I don't think that the trident has a, a knockback on the reload, but maybe it does, who knows. Again, just doing a quick look for extra secret rooms, you never know. Because I don't I don't think that's the secret room, I think that's the second secret room. The, the rarely spawning second secret room. Because it seems like a, a weird secret room to have, isn't it? It's a freaking shrine. How often does that happen? Not frequent. I'm sure that maybe there are um, times when you can just have a regular secret room like that, but I don't know, I gotta think to myself. Maybe there's something special going on there. Maybe we can, we can make some interesting things happen on this floor. I'll also say I'm very glad to have an extra blank for free, or not for, uh, blank, key. I might just wanna buy uh, blanks from the shop and then use them on that shrine, because that might give me some really good chests. Now, I, I think that the quality of chests you get is random, but I think most of the time it's just like brown and blue chests, so if that's, you know, even if that's the case, there's some good items you can get in chests. And dude, look at that! There's another secret room right there. What did I tell you? So the other secret room we had, the one with the shrine, was a second secret room. That's cool. Uh, playing it slow. <laughs> um, let's let's go back because if I use the teleporter, I can just teleport straight to that room. You know what? Give me this. It's not a mimic. It's just more HP and a gun, which is actually quite nice. It means that if we, oh, I teleported. Damn it. <laughs> well, it means that if we can. Um, Determine which chest is the gun chest and which chest is the passive chest. We can not open the gun chest. Which is always a good thing, if you can make it work. So LJ's in the shop. We're going to pull him back. It looks like I don't actually have to go through that trap room. I can just go into the shop and then connect, which is nice. The other chest... Actually, the other chest was here. It was wicked. It was brown. We lockpicked it and it was destroyed. So if I use a, a key on this blue chest, we could get something out of it. Or we could get nothing. Shop contains nothing except for a gun muncher, which is fine. Still have melted rock. I mean, I was kind of wishing that that was a sell creep. I would I would sell melted rock. Would I sell melted? You know, I probably would, because I would prefer to buy just like one blank and risk it on that shrine. You know? 
yeah, the shrine has like a 90% chance of giving you a chest on the first play, and then it decreases per play. It's not a guarantee. Hello, LJ, my old friend. Well, shit. Well, I mean, we'll suck him in. I really didn't want that to happen because that means that it's just going to um, eat the money. Unless I can drop him into the pit, I think. I don't know if we actually did get money out of that. It, it, this is not a good gun to get for this purpose, but you know what? You know what? It gave me a chest. Okay, I mean, what the hell? What the hell? Um, I uh, use a key on it. Cool this up. Not bad. Um, other chest, we could use blanks. We have a lockpick. We probably want to save it in case we need a lockpick, a chest from there. Um, shit, no, no, teleport, teleport. I want to pull LJ away before I buy the key from the shop. Hmm. The long analysis of chest is just ends with, we may get something, we may not. I mean, that's the thing. You never know until you open it, what you're gonna get. Like a blue chest, 50-50 chance of it being a passive active. Do I wanna spend a key on it? I tell you what I wanna do. What I wanna do is buy all the blanks, use them on the shrine room, and then see if I'm gonna lock pick or use keys on chests at that point. I think that's what I wanna do. So you know what, buy the blanks. If this means we can't fight the rat, you know what, honestly? The rat's been a piece of crap to me lately. He's been, he's been eating me up and spitting me out. No mimics, which is very unfortunate, but we did get three chests, one of which gave me the bomb, which is free secret room access, which is lovely. Um, we're gonna drop that for the bomb. Uh, and then we have extra blue chests. So I think this is where you start thinking to yourself, I, I wanna just open a couple of chests, right? So, sure, sure, you know what? There's two HP until we buy something, which is gonna happen very soon, I think. There's a gun, and with this chest, you know what, let's lockpick it, it failed. We got junk. So was that worth it? No, I wanna say. <laughs> like the bomb is really good, but we got that out of the blue chest, right? Or excuse me, the, the brown chest, it was unlocked. Like two HP that's temporary is okay, but we're probably gonna be buying keys on every floor, so maybe not. The sunglasses out of this chest that we use the lockpick on. Uh, I mean, it's coolness up. Which is something, I suppose. There is a bit of a synergy with the uh, the sunglasses and the bomb. We can get some slowdown whenever we pop the bomb. We don't love the slowdown, but it is something that we can, we can use sometimes to our advantage. Let me hold this gun for a minute. Uh, you know what, let me hold this gun for a long time. That would be even better. All right, so we should get the effective flawless on this boss. As long as we get to keep using that gun. Okay, well maybe not now. Uh, you know what, you're dead. Lobby Lord's dead, we got it. Even with the pea shooter. There we go. Okay. Ah, damn. Now, unfortunately, we don't get anything good out of this pedestal. Although, what we did get was a, uh, a reroll away from the pea shooter. Now, it rerolled us into a really bad gun. Life orb, 
is terrible, but it is not the pea shooter, and at least it will reroll quickly on this floor. It might give us a cursed weapon, but there's nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. We just have to risk it. Well, I really wish I had the old crests. Or do I? Maybe I don't wish I had the old crest. You know, screw it. There are times when this slow motion will help us. I think this is one of them. Please. Yes! We devolved him away from uh, spawning those extra enemies when he died. Okay, good stuff. It's a bit of a tricky situation with the Devolver, Shockwaves, and Gull's Revenge. Ah, I was wondering. Normally there's like one sniper on the room. Okay, it was a, it was a freaking. Why, why are they turning into shotgunners? This is a bad thing game. Where'd that arrow come from? That was like an unfriendly fire arrow, you see that? not in friendly fire. Okay, that's what happened. He died and shot bullets. I, I get it now. A milk jug. Oh, it's on friendly fire. A milk jug. I got a, I got a question for you. You play Rocket League? Because I don't, I know that Joe plays Rocket League. I don't know if you play Rocket League. But I think I would like to try to play some, some Rocket League at some point. Get back into the habit of that. And so if you want to play, I'm up to play. I just want to get these guys all grouped up together. And if I can get them grouped up together, then I might be able... That one just does not want to get grouped. If I can get them grouped up, I might be able to like... Take a shot and dodge roll, and then they'll die eventually. Uh, you know what? Hold up. I do have one solution to this problem, but I, I'm very glad I got them grouped up because that actually made it possible. <laughs> that is a, uh, a horrible situation to be in, but we did it. Dodge powers increased during explosions. Ah, shit some more damage. Uh, I mean, this sucks because this guy is immune to the fire. So I just had to hit him with the the projectile until he, my weapon changed. The beam. Gives you motion sickness? Oh, that's a shame. Sorry to hear that. Oh. <laughs> my gun changed. I'm just slamming the R button like, come on! Oh, shit. Explosive Pyre zone control a Gorgon's gaze. He disappeared. Stun him? I'd much rather have a gun. And we did get a gun. Picked up another key, which is nice. You know what? We can open up the the uh, chest on this floor very easily. Plus a pyre, pot shots. All right, I think we're good here. We can open up the chest. We know it's going to have a passive or an active in it. I didn't see the bullet coming, and then I tried to dodge past it. <laughs> Hello, Mew Mew. Welcome back. the banana. You know, the more I use the sunglasses, the more I think that the sunglasses are actually pretty good. Like, I don't like that you have the, the semi-random slowdown, but during the slowdown, you get a better dodge roll. Which is quite nice during this, this freaking mode.
It does, you know, give you some extra coolness, which doesn't always come into play, but sometimes it might. And when you do get the time slow down, you know, oftentimes you're like, oh, thank God, I can actually, like, make a dodge. So this is gonna be a chest? Nope, for combat. I wish that it was a little bit more um, reusable. You know, I kinda, I kinda wish it didn't have a, a cooldown on it, but I understand why it does, because then it might be a little bit too OP if it did. Not have a cooldown, that is. Don't blink, awesome. With L, oh. I was gonna say, with LJ coming, I just wanna kill him as fast as I can, and then uh, that ended up being the correct decision. Uh, okay, this is actually quite good. D-pad is a free chest. So we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna go slow. We're just gonna make some, some good decisions. We're gonna look for secret rooms right now. Oh, you know what, what I just realized is we actually have, yeah, every little bit helps. We actually have free secret room access now that I think about it. So we're not gonna, oh, we're not gonna do, do anything with that chest until we empty the ammo out of this gun. But yeah, we can, uh, can get an extra blank for free. Get a guan stone, see what's in that green chest. I'm, I'm probably just gonna open it, I have the keys. We should get enough money to buy the nod key in the shop. Dude, good quality chest. The badge, badge man, huh? Now this is interesting, because when badge man dies, he gives you a damage upgrade for curse. Well, you know what? We changed our gun at least. Is that worth it? Do you do you want that curse for like a 25% damage upgrade on DD20? I don't know. But the problem is, is that if he dies, we have to either talk to him before we leave the floor or he's gone forever. We can't like drop the badge and pick it back up and reset him or anything like that. Once he's once he's dead, he's dead. It's not bad. Like the item, we got it for free. It's literally not detrimental to us. But understandably, it's not the best. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna open it. Oh my fucking god, Potion of Lead Skin. Okay. We... I think we get rid of the lock picks. It's gonna be 115 in the shop for the Nod Key. We could fight the rat. This is like a good opportunity to do it because we have free blanks for secret rooms and we have reusable invincibility, which I think we do take over the lock pick at this point. If you don't walk in after you open up the room, if the fuse, if the chest is a fuse. Um, the ch so if you open up a secret room and you don't walk into it, there is no fuse. There's only a fuse when you walk into the room. So as long as you don't walk into any chest room, there won't be a fuse. So I saw on the minimap that there was a green chest and I'm like, you know what? We're just gonna do deal with something else for a minute. We'll be back. Active item invincibility. Um, I think we get rid of the lock pick and we keep the bomb. Um, yeah, free secret room access plus damage when we can't shoot could be kind of nice. We lose the ability to get some extra items though. Oh my god. You see, it's hard because if we buy the rat key, then on the next floor we have to use two blanks to access the secret area to fight the rat. Or to, uh, to yeah, to, to go down to the, the big trap door. But if I use the bomb, I can save those blanks for the boss fight and maybe get a flawless out of it. This is a difficult decision. What I could do and what I think I am going to do is, I think I'm actually going to min-max a little bit here, and we're just gonna fight the boss right now.
And it's out. You know what? That's pretty damn good. It got us like halfway through the fight. Use blanks. Use blanks. Oh! Oh my fucking god! Okay, we got the flawless. Dude, that's that's good. I had a, another potion charge. I didn't see it until the end there. Dude! Ring of fire resistance. We're immune to thermal clips now. Okay. Please, 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 please. Okay. So why did I do this? I did this because I wanted to see what we got as drops. Maybe if we got a lot of keys, I would be like, oh yeah, we don't need the lockpick. Um, we're definitely taking the potion. But I'm I'm still debating the bomb. Do we need the bomb? Or would I rather have more items? Because items could give me HP, more active item invincibility. We have 132 credits. The key is 115. We can't even afford a regular key. I think... I think we just stick with what we have right now and we buy the key. Free secret room access. We can fight the rat. Get two keys from that floor. We have active item invincibility. Immunity to uh, fire. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it like this. So goodbye, lockpick. Hello, key. We lost two HP, but that's okay. You can't drop it and then make the purchase. You lose it either way. But yeah, let's try to fight the rat. With active item invincibility, I think we've got a good shot. The fire resistance is good too. Saving the blanks is good too. Hot shots, ghosts. Shit. Poison doesn't concern me. I got hit by like the random ass pot shot. I don't even know where it happened from. Okay. Hello, Mew Mew. How's it going? Hi, hi, hi. Long live the king. You know what? That's a, probably a good time for the bomb. No! The bomb knocked him into me. I'm immune to fire. I'm immune to fire. We'll get him eventually. Oh fuck. I hate when I get bodied by my own bombs. Dude, why is every enemy jammed on this room? Also, dude, the fucking explosions knocking the enemies into me hurt me twice on that room. Long live the king. Long live the king makes it so that if you don't kill the king, you can't kill anything else in the room. You have to shoot the king first. So I couldn't kill anything else until that king jammed cubulon was killed, which was very annoying, and it cost me some damage. I had to check for uh, unfriendly fire, because <laughs> I didn't check when the room started. So we're actually not e we're not even going to make it to the rat floor until. Let's wait on this. We're not gonna make it to the rat floor unless we can get another key, so... We can't even use our bombs until that happens. Very, very unfortunate. Oh, fuck. You know what? Perfect potion of lead skin, I think. We can't get more than one room out of it, but you know what? It saved my ass on that room. Good lord. I think that's kind of what... what we want like that's an ideal situation for us is hey your situation sucks here's a way around it so we do have a key now and it's in this room want to knock him into the pit good give me that extra speed up thank you now copper 
Oh, copper. Got the room, and here's the trap. Nope, you um, you do not need to blank the first one. You just throw the bomb onto the rail, uh, onto the minecart track, and it works. So, first bomb. Let's kind of aim up a little bit. Mr. Howie, thank you for the follow. And then we'll come back once we get the bomb charged, and we'll use it on the second wall. Boss fight. I'm gonna wait until we can get to a full charge on the flask. Hot shots, Gorgon's gaze, unfriendly fire. Oh my god, did you see that? Okay. It's clearing out the pots. This this is an easy room because literally this guy can't hurt me. And now that there's no pot shots, the only bullets are coming from him. So, I'm happy with this. It's an annoying room, for sure, but it's an easy one, for now. There might be some more enemies at spawn, you never know. Nope, just him, perfect. Uh, it looks like there's a secret room in the shop. You know what? That's another bomb, as far as I'm concerned. Gave us a green chest. We do not have a key, unless we pick this up. Extra HP container would be nice, but let's let's buy the key. And let's check out the chest. It's not a mimic, unfortunately. It's green. I'm gonna open it. It's a gun. It spawned LJ. That's not great. I was hoping that what we could do would get you know a good item from it, but I guess this is fine too. I mean, obviously it sucks. You know, maybe I should have used it on the item room chest because then if I got another key. Oh fuck, it's a Sinner Grace. Run! Nope, chest blew up. Damn it. Yeah, because I was thinking maybe I should save the key and then open up one of the two item room chests, and then I know what the other one's gonna have, a passive active or a gun. Yeah, that was that was bad, that was bad. That was a dumb idea, it didn't work, don't do that. What we are gonna do though is fight the boss. Two blanks, potion of lead skin, um, sure. Dark explosive poison. Dark explosive poison. Not bad. Um, now, wood beam is awful, so I am going to uh, take advantage of it here, I think. We've got some really bad guns in a row. Oh, we got another bad gun in a row. Uh, this sucks. This is a very bad fight. Um, we, we can still win. I can use my blanks. As long as I have the potion charge, we're good. Not the potion charge. As long as I have the, um... As long as I have the, um... Bomb charge, we will be able to get into the secret room still. So, you know what? Use a blank. About halfway done with the fight. I mean, ideally... We'll just get the potion charge, get a good gun, walk up into his face, and kill him. His face being the Treadnought, not LJ, or the minions that are being summoned. This is a slowdown crossbow, which might actually be bad. Still not sure how I think about that, or I feel about that, rather. Bees, very good. Pop the bees. I'm saving the uh, the potion for when I need it, which is right now. Yeah, because this guy's so slow that he's it's actually hard to get around him right now. I couldn't actually fire my gun. I didn't realize why. We have a black hole gun. That explains it. So get sucked in everything. 
This is purely for defense right now. Oh my god. If, if I got if I got contact damaged by that, I would have been so fucking pissed. Okay, so we got the flawless. Cop is still alive. We got a gun, which sucks because we just picked up a gun on the floor, but that's okay. 63 credits. We're actually close to being able to afford the extra HP upgrade in the shop, but we might not want to do that. We might just want to, like, play Winchester's game or something. Ghost, explosive, final attack, long live the king. Well. King was a little annoying, but now he's dead. I mean, this is good that you're in the center, but at the same time, F you. Hey, another blank. I mean, we so we could have kept exploring and picked up that extra blank, but I'm, I'm happy with what we're at right now. We have one key. There is another key in the shop we can buy, I believe. And if we buy another key, we won't have enough for the HP upgrade, but we will be able to open a chest, but the chest could have a, a gun in it. So I'm thinking maybe we want to pick up the HP upgrade and then if we have enough money, do the Winchester's game, but I'm still debating it in my head. So these guys are not never the king, which is nice. Thank you, the crate. <laughs> the crate saved my life on that one. We have one room left to do. I want to do all the rooms. How is the cop still alive? I don't know what causes the cop to die. I know that he dies when you walk into the dragon fight, and that's it. That's I, I don't know when else he dies. Yeah, easy reload bullets reload on roll, so if you watch, roll, 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 roll. It's, it's technically good for things like thermal clips because if you have one bullet in the clip, you can fire and quickly re quickly roll to reload, but it doesn't work consistently and it's not really that important for us because we uh, are immune to fire anyway, so we actually would like there to be fire on the ground. It helps us. Zone control, rat's revenge. This looks like it would be a really annoying pot shots room doesn't it? So there's the chest. It's not a mimic. Dude, where are my mimics? Dude, where's my mimic? We already found the secret room. Um, we have 87 credits. So now I gotta think, what do we wanna do on the floor? Open a chest. I mean, we do, because we're gonna get two keys on the next floor. So let's open it. Homing bullets, that's actually really good. What does it synergize with? Nine curse. Bomb, homing bombs. You know, that's not bad actually. And homing bullets itself is pretty nice because our shots might not miss targets that they would otherwise miss. Okay, 87 credits. The HP up was 77. Dude, I think we just get the HP upgrade. Because here's the thing, if I play Winchester's game, this is a relatively difficult game to get an, uh, an S tier chest on. If it gives me a gun, it's wasted money. If I buy something from the shop, I know what it is. And an HP upgrade cannot be taken away from me. Well, unless we die. So hopefully we don't die, but yeah, let's just do it like this. We get an HP upgrade that's permanent. Gives us a little bit more leeway in taking damage. We'll bomb, oh, actually, we don't need a bomb anymore. We have the blanks. So we'll pop a blank, unlock that, and we'll leave. We're not gonna clear our curse. That goes against the spirit of the run. If I just wanted to clear my curse, I wouldn't start cursed. I don't think they always give you a gun, but it's definitely, it's definitely feels like it's more likely to give you a gun, you know? And I, I hate that. Magnum Easy Reload Bullets. So Magnum Easy Reload Bullets is kind of interesting 
when you do the reload, it reloads all of the bullets at once because a Magnum, when you do a quick reload, you have the, um, I forget what it is, but it's, you, you like pull out all the bullets at the same time and you replace them in the chamber. It's like a special device for it. I'm not a gun guy, but it's still good. Now, what is with that bomb? I'm tempted to use the uh, potion. I'm going to. I got. I got. I got to deal with that guy. The summoner. Okay. Now there's a lot of enemies remaining on the room now, but he's not summoning a dude anymore. You know what? Here comes the bomb. <laughs> it. It's so slow though that it's actually pretty pretty hard to get it to hit. I might just would rather prefer it if uh, I didn't have that. Oh, dude. The black hole gun is awesome. So right, right, down, left, up, left. Dude, get sucked. He was not the enemy that could die. He just got sucked into nothing. Well, that was basically a waste. But you know what? This room is actually not that bad. If if there was any other enemies on the room, I would be happy for that. The black hole gun. So I'm happy that we had the opportunity to use it. Down left, up left. It You know, there are some anti-synergies. Homing bullets plus black hole gun is bad because you want the black hole gun to go across the entire room. Will I take the buff when the cop dies? I don't know. It depends on what the run looks like when it happens, I think. Dude, that bomb. Looks sweet though. It's like it gets stuck to his face. It's like sticky bombs. Or uh, sticky bombs from another game that has sticky bombs. Spelunky, that's the one I'm thinking of. Please leave. Dude, another good gun. So it should be left up left. Oh, I'm sorry for you. He's the last bullet standing. But you know what? If I can just repeat the cycle. We get a blank, we do damage every cycle. I like it. Okay, we got one done. That guy actually managed to continue his attack, I guess. Kill pillar strategy works on this guy. If you blank just before he fires, he continues the attack. The homing bullet! The homing bullet made it so that it missed. <laughs> that was so dumb. Good to know that that's what, how that works though. I'm tempted, honestly, in this room to pop the potion. But I'm gonna save it at least for the second phase. Oh, there's two of them that are jammed. The one's dead. You know what? These guys fucking suck. There's LJ. Which sucks as well. Okay, so we're just gonna we're gonna go quickly here. We're gonna grab the HP, we're gonna fight the boss, and we're gonna hope that we can live. Did the cop die? If the cop died, you know what? The cop died. So Yeah. This is bullshit. Um fuck. Invisible rat traps on the entire room now. Um very much not happy to see this. I'm just kind of, I'm hoping that we can just get the, um, the potion charged right now. It looks like there's a small corner here that I can stand in and be safe, though.
And it looks like I can stand here and be mostly safe too. Except for right there. Okay, you know what? That sucked. That's okay, not bad. Get the potion charge. Okay, starting to take some damage. There's the potion. So, I mean, this is a bullshit scenario um, because I can't see anything on the floor. I can't see where the rat traps are. And so we're taking damage because I'm, I'm trying to focus on like where the rats traps are gonna be and what's happening with that. Um, I just, I hope that we do not get rats revenge on the second phase because I want to at some point be able to see what's happening on the ground. Uh, but this is the most bullshit one, is that you literally cannot see any of the traps. It's fucking awful. You feel like fighting the rat is never a good idea? I think it is, it can be, but you just gotta be wary of those bullshit situations. Like fucking that! What the fuck, game? Jesus fucking Christ. And then it just, it just stops in the middle. Like a big fucking circle of lasers. God damn it. Oh my fucking god, I hate this boss. So freaking bullshit. It would be fair, it would be a good idea to fight this fucking boss if you just didn't get these awful fucking modifiers that literally cause you to take damage before the fight even starts. Like what the fucking hell? We might die. I hope we don't, but we might die because of this fucking awful fight in DD20 mode. Oh, fucking Christ. Too much to focus on. I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm so annoyed. We're gonna die on this fight. I got the potion. Yeah, bullet, that's what I want. I dodged, dodged into it. I, I fucking, holy goddamn shit. Invisible rat traps, a shockwave that hurts you before you can even move. I, okay, you know what? You know what? We are not fighting the rat anymore. On DD20, until they fix it, I'm not fighting the rat anymore. I've had it, I've had it with taking damage because you can't see the traps on the ground because you can't move on the second phase. It's so fucking annoying. Okay, we're done it. We're, we, we're done. We're done. We're not fighting the rat anymore on DD20 mode. It's, it's so annoying when you take damage because it's not your fucking fault. We're done. We're, we're not doing it anymore. Goodbye. Goodbye to the rat.